Hello student, welcome to today's lecture series on CPC 301, Principles of Crop Protection, Study Section 1. The title of today's topic is Concept of Pests. Introduction. It is estimated that the world crop losses due to pests are of the order of about 35% of potential yield, but in most tropical countries, the field and stores losses are of higher magnitude and may be as high as 50% in some cases. Before we attempt, before an attempt is made to control any pest or organisms, it should first be established that it is a pest and that it would be profitable to attempt control. This study section will define what pest is and the different categories of pest based on economic threshold of their effect on crops, on feeding pattern, and the basic principles of pest control. Learning outcome for study section 1. On completion of this study section, you should be able to define and classify pests, briefly describe the importance of pests of crops, itemize and explain condition which promotes pest incidence, explain the effects of pests on crop plants. Definition of pest. Pest is any animal or plant which harms or causes damage to man, is animals, crops, or possession. A pest is that which causes losses in yield or quality of the crop, resulting in loss of profits by the farmers. When a loss in yield reaches a certain proportion, then the pest can be defined as an economic pest. When a loss in yield in a particular crop which is 5 to 10 percent, a pest status is established. Economic damage is the amount of injury done to a crop which will justify the cost of artificial control measures. The economic injury level is the lowest pest population density that will cause economic damage to a crop and this varies from crop to crop, season to season and area to area. We also have economic threshold, which is defined as the population density at which control measures should be started to prevent an increase in pest population from reaching the economic injury level. Classification of pest. Pest can be classified as a regular pest, which perennially damage crops and whose population level rarely fall below the economic threshold. Then we also have the occasional pest. These are pests whose population level are normally below the economic threshold but occasionally rises above it. Then last we have the potential pest. These are pests whose population levels are usually considered to be far below the economic threshold but which can become highly injurious under change cultural condition or as introduced first. Importance, important pest of crops. The anthropods which comprise the insects, mites, millipede, wood lice, constitute the most dominant group. Other organisms include nematode, rodents, birds, and mollusks. All these pests have their importance and contribution to crop production. We're going to briefly explain the importance of each of these pests, one after the other, starting with insects. Insects belong to the group of organisms known as the anthropods. Insects <coughs> then their small size, remarkable range of adaptation, rapid rate of reproduction, great mobility, and efficient water conservation enables them to colonize nearly every habitat, including all types in including all types in which crop production take place. These features of insects contribute towards making their controls of paramount importance to the farmers. We also have nematodes. These are small organisms which are normally referred to as eelworms. Nematodes can cause a considerable damage to crops such as jam, cowpea, many vegetables. A disease known as root knot disease of cowpea, for example, causes the formation of irregular nodules on the roots and dwarfing of the mature plants are caused by nematodes. 
also we have rodent we also have rodent as pests these are mammals with teeth which are well adapted to grind hard substance they include mice squirrel porcupine rats and grass cutters these animals may damage fruit and vegetable and are particularly very injurious to young seedling of oil palm rice sugarcane and tubers of root crops such as cassava conditions which promote pest incidents the condition that favors the incidence of pests are favorable climatic condition and biological changes the favorable climatic condition that favors or promote pest incidence are most common in a way which organism attain pest status is simply by the increase in numbers so the seasonal increase in pest numbers are usually controlled by climatic condition and biological pressure this climatic condition includes temperature humidity rainfall and sunlight another factors or condition that promotes pest incidence is the biological change when the environmental conditions are favorable an ecological change can convert an harmless or a, him, a harmless organism into a pest. The majority ecological reason for an organism developing pest status include change in the cultural practices, change in the character of the food supply, introduction to new environments. The indirect effect of insects on crops are insects can make crop more difficult to cultivate. They may distort the plants as do aries species larvae on cutting they may delay crop maturities grain in cereal crop may become dwarfed or distorted insect infestation results in contamination and loss of quality in the crop in the crop damages by insect and piercing damages by insects with piercing and chewing mouth parts Then we have the direct effect of insect feeding. The, in the, the direct effect of insect feeding leaves 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 rolled and webbed and eaten. So leaves mined with either thorny or blush mind, both eating destroying either the growing point of young flowers and fruit. Flowers and young fruit eaten by eating as by pollen B2 blisters B2. Indirect effect of crops of insects on crops. The insects may cause problem for crop indirectly by making the crop more difficult to cultivate. They may distort the plants, they may delay crop maturities. Grains in cereal crop may become dwarfed and distorted. Insect infestation results in contamination and loss of quality in the crops. The loss of quality may be in nutritional value or in marketability. Then we look at the direct effect of insect feeding on crop. This may leave leaves rolled and webbed and eaten. It also can result in leaves mine with either tunnel or blush mines. It also results, it also can result in birds eating, destroying either the growing point of the young fruit and flowers. Also, flowers and young fruit eaten by the insect, as by pulling beetles, blisters, get the crop destroyed. Other effects are fruit and seed eaten or bored and destroyed, as, <clears throat> as done by sorghum mined larvae, pear pot borer, mid weevil, coffee berry borer, and various fruit fly. Also, fruit bored and caused to fall prematurely. For example, mango fruit fly, coffee fruit flies. Thank you for listening. We've come to the end of today's class. Do have a great day.